you're always at the whim here. It doesn't matter how tough you are. At any point, this place decides to dump snow or blow hell, wind, you're done. Hey guys, before I do this review, have you seen this documentary? 1,000 Miles to Gnome. I just spent the weekends uh, watching it, not just once, watched like three times. These guys are nuts. They, this is probably the best bikepacking adventure documentary I've ever seen in my life. I mean, if you haven't watched it, I'll put a link down where you can download it. Um, definitely watch it, guys. It's, it's powerful. I'm just surprised that these guys even attempted it not alone try to complete it you know and document it so um if you get a chance uh definitely download it i'll show you the trailer here's the trailer right uh before i get into my own review but definitely a must have part of your bikepacking collection miles and grids to know Yukon River and the rainy pass The Alaskan range can kick your ass These guys are nuts, you know? So, link to download it, go ahead, download it, give you something to watch, get a six pack of beer and enjoy. Um, so, back to my own setup, okay? World Tour setup um, that I've been working on. Uh, first of all, um, my plan was to do uh, show you a detailed gear list of all the gear I'm carrying. The bike is almost complete, um, but one of the bags, um, it's basically a camera bag, um, I decided to do a separate video for that. I think this would interest people who want to document their long distance bikepacking trips. And this is the equipment I'm taking. Now how did this come about? Well. A few people said to me on my YouTube channel, because I do just gear lists, um, why don't I document my, um, my weekend rides or my month-long rides or two-week rides? You know, why don't I document it? So it got me thinking, what do I need to do to capture what I see? So I spent the last three months putting gear together um, for this. So I'm going to show you the gear that I'm using just for the um, how to um, the gear I'm using to record uh, basically um, now truthfully you can get away with an iPhone a little tripod a little battery bank your iPhone does your captures your video the iPhone edits your video and iPhone uploads it to iCloud and you can store it and you can get away with that and a lot of people do um, but this is just my setup um, and it's pretty intense, uh, what I put together was basically, I broke it down into sections. So guys, I'll show you, this is an overall view. Um, this is how I'm gonna be powering my gadgets. This is the mounts I'm using. This is how I'm capturing with the cameras. This is how I'm doing the editing. Um, and this is my storage, um, how I'm storing stuff. So I'm gonna go over this, ah, oh, I'll take a seat. Get the camera in position. Oh, guys, before um, I, uh, sorry, before I do this, uh, I'd just like to shout out to um, Mr. Green's family, uh, my first Patreon. Uh, I've decided to switch over to Patreon um, because my goal is to remove all ads from um, the YouTube channel, um, the AdSense. And for the price of a coffee, which is four bucks, uh, people get to see uh, the videos first. Um, the Green family will get to see this video before anybody else. And also gives them a chance to vote <coughs> um, which direction I go on my bikepacking tour that I'm planning. Uh, I've got another two months to go. So um, let me just break this down. So this is how I'm powering stuff. Now I've already done a video on how I'm powering all my gadgets. Um, you can check that out. It's more detailed, but this is just a rough version. Um, so basically, solar panel. 
okay, that's attached to the front of the bike, uh, and that is powering uh, that solar panels by Link Solar. And then it's also the battery bank, which is a 10,000 um, by Omar company. It's called the Explorer. It's 100% waterproof. That's attached to the front of the bike as well. So all day that's charging if there's sun. And then that's um, topping up my GPS and my phone while I'm riding. Second thing is, is when I get to coffee shops every three or four days, uh, it takes me about three hours to charge all my gadgets. And the way I do it is this anchor which has four USBs that charges this battery, 10,000. It's a little um, by Omar again. Um, it charges this one and this one. So this is how I'm charging my devices. Now, I had ordered a few bits and pieces. One of the biggest problems I had was cables. Uh, it was basically a mess in the bag, and it took me more time to pull out the cables than actually start doing any editing. So this... Um, you can see, very nice, very clean, goes up to about 30 centimeters, or it can go lower, longer, just very nice way to keep everything organized. So, and then the other cables, um, that's the connect this here, so these four are all just taped together. So basically this is how I'm powering stuff, solar panel, battery banks. Um, really nice cables, a lot more organized. Now, this is the tripods I'm using, okay? So, I'll pull this a little bit closer. First of all, little mini tripod. You can attach to a tree. I have been using this for about four years. It's pretty sweet, um, very light. Um, also, I'll be using that there for when I'm doing um, live chat, which I plan to do every Sunday. Um, so, then this is an adapter for the iPhone uh, to connect to. And then this is like an egg timer. It captures those nice shots where you see um, somebody setting up a tent and it's slow motion is going across, or not slow motion, just slowly turning um, time lapse. So, that's pretty cool. The other thing I have is a gimbal. Um, for the GoPro, it's going to be attached to the bike and also to the raft, so uh, get some stable shots. Um, yes, I know you can get a Hero 7 and a Hero 8 and it's got a stabilizer in it, but this um, has got really good um, reviews in the sense that people have used Hero 4s and this gimbal and it's better footage than an uh, um, electronic stabilizer like what the GoPro 7 or GoPro 7 or 6, no, GoPro 7 or GoPro 8 have. So this is um, very nice, sweet. So hopefully we'll be able to capture smooth shots. Uh, set that in. Okay, the next thing is... <clears throat> How I'm capturing things. So, first thing is my drone. Um, that's going to do a lot of aerial photographs or, and videos. And also, I'm going to starting to learn how to do the follow follow me on it. And it'd be nice to have the drone when I'm setting up camp to be just doing like a spiral around the camp while I'm setting it up. Um, the, over here, you have the remote control. Um, and you have an extender for the antenna to make it go, I think, at least a kilometer uh, this extender pushes it to. Um, very inexpensive. The other thing is GoPro. It's um, Hero 4. Um, I never upgraded. Um, I, the reason why was because I can buy a $30 mic, plug it in. Hero 5, you start having to mess with mics, uh, buy extra cost, and this actually just works pretty well. So... Uh, and I've got a little backup as well, um, just in case. This is basically B, B footage. A couple of batteries, because we all know how GoPro's batteries suck. Um, this represents my camera, which I'm using now, which is the, uh, is it the G7X or GX7 by Canon. Um, it's in a silicon uh, case. The reason why it's in a silicon case is because I actually got the camera from Matt. When Matt was visiting, if you don't know Matt from Jail Nation, he was visiting and he basically um, dropped his. He actually dropped it in one of his videos and bounced it down the road. So 
when he came here to stay, he basically, um, I said, hey, we can send this down to get it fixed. It won't cost much to fix it. Uh, but he already had a backup, um, which he had bought for his dad. Um, and he said, no, no, just keep this. It's okay. So he gave it to me and I fixed it. Well, sent it to the shop to fix it. And they fixed the, the Canon for, I believe it was $50. And that was including a brand new battery. So really good camera. He's recorded for many years. That's what he was using. And he made really good documentaries with that camera. So um, that's what I'll be using. Now, after I've recorded everything, I'll be transferring stuff over. So this is a, a plug that plugs into my camera. And this one plugs into my laptop. Just put a little memory stick into it. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Ah, okay, figure that out. And this one is a memory card reader, which plugs into my um, iPad. So this is the camera gear I'll be using. Um, next is editing. What I'm using for editing. I have a nice um, MacBook Air 11 inch. Um, I put a silicon case around it to give it a bit more protection. Um, it's 8 gig hard drive, or sorry, 8 gig RAM, and it's got a 500 um, SD hard drive in it. I'm running Final Cut Pro off that. So it's pretty amazing, I'll be honest. It's, it's pretty good. So, um, but I am trying to get away from the laptop, okay, and I'm trying to get to do all my editing, everything on a MacBook Mini. Now, this is a MacBook Mini 4, um, and so far it's working out really good um, for editing. I'm using Lunar Fusion with this, um, and it's it's not as fast, I don't mean like in processing speed compared to the, the MacBook Air, or it's more, not as fast as my workflow. My workflow's faster on the Mac, um, because I'm more used to that um, and I think in time I'll be able to do a lot of things on this here iPad so hopefully eventually I will switch everything to the iPad next thing is is my phone this one I'll be using for Instagram photos uploading also I'll be using for um, live chat um, like the super chat and stuff people are doing um, I'll be using that there and also I'll be using it for with the Headphones and microphone, I'll be using that for podcasts. So, basically all my editing is done on these. And then, once everything's edited, I'll be backing it up. Now, this is way cool. This is by SP. Um, they brought out a waterproof hard drive, actually completely submergible. So my gear or my data is definitely going to be protected. Um, so I'll be backing up to this. This is a two terabyte. They also make, I believe, a three and a five terabyte one. Um, I just ordered a two terabyte to start off with. Um, so once I've made the videos, uploaded to YouTube, then I'll back it up to the two terabyte. In addition to this, this is like well made, man. This is really well made. It's really nice. Two terabytes, that's crazy, you know? And not that expensive. Not that expensive at all. So I'll be adding a few of these over time. Uh, once this one's full, I'll be getting another one. Also, I'm backing up all my videos to iCloud. As you can see, I'm a Mac guy, so everything goes to iCloud. So there's a two, per two terabyte storage there. I do hope over the next year, iCloud will expand their terabytes, you know, to give you five or 10 or whatever. Um, now, I'll be backing up once a week. Um, and the reason why I need an external hard drive like this is there's times where I'll be on the road where I don't have access to my videos, but all my videos will be stored on this here so I can transfer videos over if I have to do references or get some footage. So, hopefully, this wasn't too long. Okay, so that's just an overall view of my camera gear. Um, and it's gonna fit into this bag. As you can see, I did add a pack raft. I was able to figure it out. So it's gonna be four seasons 
with camera gear, 10 days of food, um, and a pack raft. So it is getting there. Done a few changes. I removed the arrow bar bags at the front. Um, I realized I didn't need that much space. Um, that was 11 liters. Now I have all my gear, winter gear in this bag, which is five liters. And then summer gear in this other bag, which is five liters. Um, fine tuning everything. But as I say, I wanted to do a video of this um, just independently rather than mix it in with um, all the uh, detailed list of everything I'm packing because maybe some people are interested in setting up um, doing a how to record their stuff now as I say guys you can easy easy use a phone battery bank little tripod and um, an iCloud for backing up um, so you could easy do that thanks for getting this far guys um, if you got this far hit subscribe and for the Patreon guys, you get to see it first. So thank you for supporting me. Um, your Patriot stuff will really help. <laughs> okay. You, you don't realize how much the Patriot's going to help me. Because um, gear, buying storage online, buying all this was not cheap. And this money, if I wasn't documenting this trip, this money would have been used um, to support me on the trip. So I do appreciate it. Thanks very much, guys. Oh, and iCloud for backing up. Um, so you could easily do that. Thanks for getting this far, guys. Um, if you got this far, hit subscribe. And for the Patreon guys, you get to see it first. So thank you for supporting me. Um, your Patriot stuff will really help. <laughs> okay? You, you don't realize how much the Patriot's going to help me. Because um, gear, buying storage online, Buying all this was not cheap, and this money, if I wasn't documenting this trip, this money would have been used um, to support me on the trip. So I do appreciate it. Thanks very much, guys.